Hello and welcome to another bad comic review. I just finished reading Scrimshaw issue 1 from Alterna Comics circa 2017. And I have some thoughts that I'd like to share. Now, first of all, this opens with a, sort of a water world type story where um, polar caps melted and the seas rose and most of the land is underwater and people live off boats and in walled in cities and islands. And it, it, it's a bit extreme, I think, but it, it could be interesting. It's written by Eric Borden, creator and writer. Dave Mims is the artist and colorist. Spike Olauchada? Sorry, Spike. Is the letterer. The lettering's really good, actually. It's able to read it. And it looks like everything was spelled correctly, which can't say the same for some of the books these days. Uh, the art kind of is distracting, though. It, it's got this real rough line work that I don't particularly care for personally, but I can see that there are people that like this sort of thing. It's sort of like a uh, distorted Frank Miller kind of thing. But with the way the colors are splashed on here, it does kind of work, and it gives it a real unique almost abstract look but it's very uh difficult to kind of determine what things are sometimes and read expressions at least to me and everybody kind of ge looks generic to me so i had a little trouble with that thankfully they're all wearing different costumes but i had trouble picking up on the emotions because they have these like cracked looking faces uh, my other major issue with the art style is the backgrounds are very generic looking if they're there at all, there's a lot of times where there is no background at all. Or it's just weird line work to look like there's something back there. And so there's not a lot of detailing. And I understand that it's a, the style that they're going with. But it wasn't something I cared for. And I found it very distracting. But there is a lot of bright, vibrant colors here that really work well on newsprint. And that kind of surprises me. Yeah, it, it's, it's an interesting story about these guys on a ship called the Runaway Horse. And we're introduced to them, two of them, as they go to the Kabuki Cowboy for an auction where they're auctioning off this sort of squid in an orb. I don't know what it is, they don't really explain that, but it uh, leads to a big action-y showdown with some guys called The Element and then uh, Tanto's Oni Corps. Tanto is apparently a corporation because the world is run by corporations and various mobs and pseudo-governments sort of things from the sound of it. Our heroes get away, or protagonists rather, I don't know how heroic they are, uh, through some nefarious means and some killing people with swords. And we are in Japan, so you gotta have some sword action. Then we're introduced to the rest of the crew. We got Mariposa, we've got Herman, we've got Nagari, and then there's uh, our head guy's girlfriend, Katsuko. And yeah, it's, uh, it's a pretty interesting story. It held my attention, but I don't really know what's going on. There wasn't a lot of setup, and there's a lot of large panels. This probably could have been cut down a little bit, but I, I see why they're doing it the way they are. But there's the panels are very large. I think the most panels I saw on a page was like six. Yeah, um, I don't care for the art style, but I am intrigued by where they're going with the story. It did a buck fifty cover price. I couldn't really turn it down. So I will be reading some other issues. I've got issues two and three here, and we'll see how those go if I pick up any others. But that's uh, that's about it. The story's okay. It's it's kind of intriguing. It's got a real kind of cyberpunk dystopian feel to it. But I found the art distracting. I'm sure there are people out there that really like this. I know there are. It, it's got kind of a Frank Miller on manga look, I guess would be the way I'd describe it. So yeah, give it a shot. See what you think. It, it's okay. Alterna does some really good books, really cheap. And you can order this off their website. Um, become a big fan of their work after reading Mother Russia and some of these other ones. Uh, I'm going to review all of them on here. I, I think I have every issue out from 2017, so look forward to that. But in the meantime, that'll do it for this one. As always, thank you so much for listening, and we hope to see you on the next episode.